one match that has plagued wrestling fans yeah. for years um, is really The good. Undertaker versus Sting. It was meant to happen twice at WrestleMania 27 in 2011 and then WrestleMania 31 in 2015. Uh, I guess talk us through the, the dream match that never happened. Well, it was the same situation as the Kurt match and the Rock match for the, for the WrestleMania 27 one where Sting was contacted about doing it. Because he was supposed to be the guy, the 227-11 guy, right? That was one of the ideas for him, that he was going to be that. Yeah, that was floating around. I don't Whether he was supposed to be or, you know, they wanted him to be, I, I guess, a, a slightly different. But yeah, I'd, I've heard that. He, he was asked, and it was the same story as ever with Sting. He went, nah. I think he must have turned the show on and went, nah, I'm not feeling it. So he didn't do it. And I think he'll probably be the first to admit now that he missed the boat a couple of times. Mm-hmm. And 31... <sighs> I like what we got at 31. It was much better than what Taker's thing would have been. Yeah, because... You Taker know, was short hair. But it wasn't because of Sting and and Triple H as such as everybody else involved in it, right? Yeah. You know, so that's that kind of made it better. They gave you all the bells and whistles that you needed. Yeah, you couldn't have done that with Sting-Taker. No. You know, that would have had to have been more like a, a Bray Wyatt match, you know, with all the, the wacky madness and, and such. <laughs> and voodoo or whatever. Bringing Papa Shango, he could have done a run-in. But... Um, and Vampiro. No, it should have been Sting Taker because the fans wanted it and you've got to give the fans what they want. You do. No, nah. you do. Yeah, you, you do. You give the fans what they want if it's going to be good. It doesn't have to be good. It's WWF, WWE. Nah. It doesn't matter. The wrestling doesn't matter. You know that more than anybody. It's the spectacle. But then if you want spectacle, NWO and DX coming out and doing all that, that, that was what that show was about. Undertaker, if you watch his, his last Red documentary, he wasn't ready. No, he no, you're through right. Through that Bray Wyatt match, you, I think it was twenty seven. Was twenty seven? Yeah, twenty seven was the time. Yeah, and then you know Undertaker ended up at that. He was going to face Wade Barrett at one point, which would have been great for Wade Barrett. Triple H was going to face Sheamus, would have been great for Sheamus. But you know, you can see in the lead up to WrestleMania twenty seven, they didn't really have a big match. So Barrett and Sheamus got shafted out of the positions. Undertaker Triple H was the dream match. Sandra watched that on TV in 2011. That was where her hatred of Undertaker began. Because two <laughs> men stared at a sign and a match was made. She didn't understand why. Um, but there Does you she go. now? Kind of, but she's just not. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, it was lazy. Yeah. It was very lazy. 